after choosing footing pad, what you need to do is select the right diameter for the project that you have. The number of posts, locations, and depth of the footing holes remain the same as slower, more expensive concrete footings. As you're marking out your project, you can use the footing pad to quickly and accurately mark locations for the footing holes. Once you've marked all your holes, just use your post hole digger to take out the first area of soil. That way you're all set to use your power auger. Remove all the loose soil from the hole and tamp down to flatten the soil at the bottom of the hole so that the footing pad has a flat surface to sit on. Make sure the flat side of the footing pad is facing down. Once you've got all your holes prepped, the next step is to place the post on the footing pad. Posts do not need to be perfectly centered on the pad. Use the existing soil that was removed from the hole to backfill around the post, tamping as needed to compact the soil. It's during this process that we level the posts. 